Omo si revenge. Abia turned bloody as dreaded Nigerian soldiers killed six IPOP in retaliation over the murdered soldiers. These soldiers, they don't want hear what. They don't want hear what. They just, just, they just, they do anyhow. They kill innocent people, just like that. It, you see, Paul Ahmed Tunubu really need to call these guys to order before these guys commit what is not supposed to be committed. Well, I don't talk. I don't talk. I don't feel shout. Uh, my people, uh, as it be so, will still like to hear from Namoko No way when I get to talk on this very matter. Um, meanwhile, let's quickly check the content. This is today's news. Troops of Operation Udoka in a determined effort to bring perpetrators of recent attacks to justice and recover weapons from the indigenous people of Biafra, IPOP, and its affiliates, the Eastern Security Network, ESN, have executed a successful raid on the IPOP camp in Igboro Forest, located in Arochuku local government area of Abia State. The operation conducted yesterday marks a significant milestone in the ongoing battle against insurgency and terrorism in the region. During the meticulously planned operation, troops encountered and swiftly neutralized several improvised explosive devices, IEDs, strategically placed along their path of advancement. Despite this obstacle, only one soldier sustained minor injuries from the fragments, a testament to the professionalism and resilience of the Nigerian military forces. The Boko people Realizing the futility of their resistance against the superior firepower of the gallant troops engaged in a feeble firefight, which was quickly subdued. As a result, six members of the criminal Boko group were neutralized, while others managed to escape into nearby bushes leaving behind traces of blood along their escaped routes. All right, my people, um, don't call K to black when that black truly has not dealt with you. Um, what I see that is happening right now is, uh, is what, I, what I call um, no retreat, no surrender. The Nigerian soldiers doesn't want to retreat. You see, governors have tried to call them to order, making them to understand that the people who uh, actually um, gain entry into Nigeria to commit these assaults are not actually from the southeast. The Southeast Governor from that very state, Abia, that is Governor Oti, is the one who made this very um, assertion. I don't know why they are not getting it correctly. All right? They just need to find a lasting solution and um, try to um, do their own underground investigation. They, the Nigerian army have taken this thing too far. They are really, really, really taking this thing too far. And if they don't take time, hmm, what I am sensing as per this that has happened is something that even they themselves will not be able to handle. I know we talk past this one, I don't talk so. All right, my people, let's quickly hear from you on this matter and then let's know what your opinions and what your take on what has just been revealed to us this very day it is a pleasure don't forget to leave down below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to receive more updates thank you